Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over using text to make a mask, okay? And uh, a mask is basically something you can see through, and if you've got multiple layers, your masked layer, your mask layer, you will be able to see through that to whatever's behind it. So let me give you a quick rundown on what mask is, and then I'll do a, a couple other demos here. I'm going to go ahead and create two layers. My top layer is going to be some text, and that's really going to end up being my mask layer. The layer beneath it is going to be the thing that I can see, okay? So I'm going to look through the text to the thing that I can see. I'll go ahead and start off with this thing that I can see. I'll go to the first frame here and I'll choose a brush. I already got a decent brush size there. I'll change the color though. How about if I choose a uh, blue? I like blue. And I'm just going to make a bunch of squiggle lines here. There we go. So I've got some squiggle lines there for the thing that I can see. Go ahead and lock that down. Now I'll go to my text layer, and let's see, I'll choose a text tool. And for your the for the color of the thing that's going to be the mask, the color doesn't really matter because you're ultimately going to be seeing through it like a like a pane of glass. But I do like my thing that I'm going to make into a mask to kind of stand out in the short term, so I'll choose this really bright green here. And since I'm using text as a mask, I'd like it to be a nice noticeable font. Um, let's see, I've got this wide Latin font that's pretty good um, let's see I've got this other font called the uh, black oak standard that looks pretty thick and wide I'll try that one I'll try that font there let's see I'll just click with my text tool and I'll go ahead and type in some text Ooh, that is a big font okay and then I'll use my free transform tool and I'm just gonna kind of size this a little differently and I'll position it so I've got my text, which is soon to be a mask, on top of my blue squiggly lines. Now, in order to use this as a mask, it needs to be a merged shape. So with text, I'm going to do Control-B to break apart. That breaks it down into individual letters, and then Control-B again. Now they're merged shapes. So I've got a merged shape on top of something that I can see. Now this part's pretty easy. I just right click on my text layer, which is going to be my mask, and I choose the mask option. And then the only thing you can see is where the little blue squiggles are beneath the text. So that's the basics of a mask. Now, I gave my class a challenge the other day, so let me just bring that up. Here it is. So you had a choice. You're going to make these, uh, make one of these two mask examples using some text and I had a two had a couple examples and if you did what I thought was the easier one you got 75 percent if you did what I thought was the harder one down here at the bottom you, you would get a hundred percent and if you actually found the time to be able to get both done you could do you'd get 125 percent I had a couple students tell me that they thought the stripe one was actually easier than the dot one but uh, for, for me the dot one was a little bit easier so I'm gonna work on making both of these here though so in this first one, I see we've got some text. In this case, it's your name. And let's see, it's a completed frame by frame dot. So frame by frame animation. And basically, we start off with very few dots. And the dots increase, 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 increase until you can see them and they're filling in the name letter. So that's the one I'm going to work on first. So I'll minimize that. I'm going to go and create a uh, new file here, starting from scratch. And I'm going to use movie clip symbols because I like working with those. It makes things really convenient. I'm going to do insert new symbol. This will be a movie clip symbol. And I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, name with dots. There we go. So I've got my name with dots movie clip symbol. And I'm going to go ahead and make a few layers here. Really, we only need two layers. But my first layer, I'm just going to go ahead and create a little frame as a visual, as a container. Then I'm going to have my text which will be really a name, which of course will really be a mask. And then on the layer beneath, I'm going to have my dots. Okay, uh, what do you want to do first? Uh, the order doesn't really matter too much. Um, okay, so I think I'll start with um, the text. Okay, so I'll use my text tool. I'll keep that same font that I was messing with earlier, Black Oak Standard. It's a nice thick font. And got my text tool, and of course the color of the text doesn't really matter. Um, I got orange here, so I'll just go ahead and click and type out my name. I'll use my free transform tool to size it a little bit better so I can see it all here. There we go. So there's my name, and of course I know I'm going to need to do this. 
Control B to break apart, Control B again, so now my name is a merged shape, so I'm really kind of done with that text part. And let's see, just so I have enough room here, I'm going to have this animation last, I'll have it last 60 frames. So I'll just, there we go, so that, that'll be lasting 60 frames there. Uh, now I'm going to handle the dots. And for the dots, let's see, let me lock down the name layer. Go to my dots, and for my dots, I'll use an oval tool. And what color do I want the dots to be? How about the purple? Purple dots. And I'll go and draw the first dot. There we go. So I just drew a dot, but I can't really see it. So what I'm going to do in the short term is I'm going to take my dots layer and move it above my name. There we go. So I've got one dot right there. Then I'm going to head over to frame 5, and I'll press... F6, and I'm going to duplicate this dot. Now I'll stick one there, and I'll stick one there. Okay, then I'll go to frame 10, press F6, and I'll duplicate all three of those dots. There we go. Frame 15, F6 to make a keyframe, duplicate all of those dots. Frame 20, F6, you kind of get the pattern here. So I'm really, I'm just making a lot of dots. I'll put those there. Frame 30. A little bit tedious here. Frame 35. There's a bunch of more dots. But now you're starting to see I'm covering everything up. And that's really what I want to see happen. I just want to cover all this text up. Let me scroll a little bit more to the right here. Frame 45. There we go. I think I'm about done. F6. Well, let's do one more for posterity. There we go. Now that text is all covered up. And then uh, for the last one there, I'll just press F6 again to maintain that. So now I've got an increasing number of dots. So if I were to just play it right here, we say, wow, all those dots just start to appear. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to do a show all so we can see there. All right, got that taken care of. I'm going to take my dots layer and just move it below my text layer. And then for my frame layer, just so I can see things, um, I'll just take a uh, rectangle tool, no fill, light gray stroke, and I'll just do that around my name just as a visual aid so I can see where that's at. But that's my name with dots. Um, and I'll right click on my text layer, make it a mask. There we go. So we're kind of all set. And then we'll just see the dots appear. So that's one of them right there. Now the other animation, let's go back to this one. The other animation is one down here at the bottom. And let's see. So we got our text and there's some bars sliding in from the right. There's bars sliding in from the left. Looks like the bars interlock and then they slide down. Okay, so this is going to be a motion tween, clearly. Things are in motion. So let's take care of that one. I'm going to go ahead, I'm still, still in the same file. I finished my name with dots. And I'm going to insert a new symbol. This is going to be name with bars. It's going to be a movie clip symbol. Click OK. So here we go. And once again, I'm going to create a few layers. This time I'm going to create four layers, though. My top layer is going to be my frame. There we go. Then I'm going to have my text, which is really going to be my mask. And then I'm going to have bars left and bars right. Let's see. Now for the text, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'll use my text tool. And it looks like I've got some purple text. No stroke is necessary for that. Use that same font. I'll just click, type out my name free transform tool, size it, kind of center it there, takes care of that one. So, and let's see, I'll have this one last 60 frames also. Oh, oh before I do that though, let's go ahead and break it apart. Um, control B to break apart, individual letters, control B to break apart, merge shape, that, part's, that step is important. Then I'll go up to like frame 60, and press F6, make it a keyframe. So I'm kind of done with that part right now. Um, let's see. Uh, next, I think I'll make the little, I'll make that little frame. So choose no fill, and for stroke, I'll choose that gray little box, and I'll just kind of drag that around. So that way, I can kind of see where things are. 
Okay, that part is done. Text part is done. So now let's get working on these bars. Now I'm going to scroll over to the left a little bit. I'm going to work on the bars on the left. And the bars on the left, let's see, I'll just use a rectangle tool. No stroke. And I'll choose, um, I'll do some orange bars here first. And I'll just go ahead and draw. There's one bar right there. And then I'll use my selection tool. And I'll just go ahead and use press my pointer, press my control key, and I'll just kind of duplicate that a couple times. And yeah, I guess I'll stop there. And let me just go ahead and alternate some colors. How about if we do uh, green for that one and green for that one. So now I've got some alternating bars. So that's my bars on the left. And now you have a couple ways you could probably go about this. You could make really long bars that actually slide over, or you can have bars about the size that I've got. And you know, I could make them into a motion tween. I could just stretch them out. But I'm gonna start off with that. Now I also need some bars on the right. So I think I'll jump over, go to my bars on the right. So I need to see what's going on over here. And basically I need to get some bars over here, but you know, I'm gonna save a little time. I'm gonna to go to my bars on the left, they're all selected. I'm gonna copy those, lock that down, and then I'll jump over and I'm gonna do, go to my bars on the right and I'll do edit. I can do paste in place or paste in center. So now I've got these new bars and see I can kind of put them in, you know, exactly where I want. If I scroll over here to the right, Let's see, let me kind of position them there. Okay, and I'll just kind of scroll over to the right and just drag them straight over. So I'm just kind of moving them right over here. There we go. So now they're pretty good. Close enough for government work, I'd like to say. And let me just change some of the colors around. So instead of orange, I'll do um, blue. Oops, there we go. There we go. And instead of green, I think I'll do... Uh, yellow. There we go. So I've got some orange and green bars on the left, blue and yellow bars on the right. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit here so I can see a little bit more about what's going on. And now it's simply a matter of which ones do you want to work with first. Well I'm on my bars on the right so I'm going to go ahead and right click, create a motion tween, and ultimately I want these to last a long time. Now notice I didn't select very well so let me do a control Z to undo. So let me click on bars on the right, and I need all of these to be selected. Let's try this again. Right click, create a motion tween, so now all those bars are together. And I want this to last the full 60 frames, so I'll just drag this motion out. 60 frames, there we go. And let's see, at some point, let's see, I'll go to about frame 30 using my free transform tool, and I'll just drag this out. Oops, I, don't, I just want to hold my Alt key while I do this, Alt key. There we go, and I'll just drag across so that my name is, for instance, covered up, so to speak. And then at frame 60, I'll just take this whole thing and slide it right on down. That'll take care of that part. Excellent. Now I'm going to go over to my bars. I can lock down bars right. Bars right is done. Go to bars left. Okay, bars left. Right click. Create a motion tween. I want this to go out 60 frames. There we go, and I'm going to go to about frame 30. Hold down my Alt key while I click and drag, have the bars go all the way across. That's good. And then at frame 60, take these green and orange bars and just slide them right down. Alrighty, and that takes care of that, and uh, we're almost done here. So let me just unlock those, go to my text, right click, make it a mask. There we go. Name kinds, kinds, ah, kinds comes together, sort of. Notice though on my layers here, I need my bars right to also be masked. So check this out. I take my bars right, slowly drag it up a little bit, and you see it kind of snaps in there. So now both bars, left and right, are going to be masked with an ED. So if I run this again, it'll, it'll look a lot better. Let's see how it looks. Oh, we can't check it that way but it is working. So let's go ahead and put this in action. So I'm going to jump over to my main scene and I've got these two symbols. I've got name with bars and name with dots. I'm going to take my name with dots and I'll uh, stick it up here and let me go ahead and zoom out a bit so I can see a little bit more clearly. 
use my free transform tool just kind of size that and position it that's where that frame kind of came in handy and I'll take my name with bars put that down here and let me go ahead and size that one a bit so now I've got my two animations on there and if I do a control enter there we go so I've got the dots animation and I've got the bars animation alright have fun